Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. As you can tell, I am not in my usual background. I'm actually in California right now. I am at my parents' house sitting in the middle of their kitchen. It is nighttime. You might hear the dishwasher going in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting, but this is the best place I could film at night since I didn't bring my ring light. But anyway, I'm trying to get through filming this even though it's been like the longest day ever. Had a long day babysitting the kids, cleaning, being pregnant, did some errands, and um, yeah, I just look kind of bananas. But this is the only time that I can film it because eight o'clock in the morning, the kids are gonna be back here and it's gonna be absolute chaos. And it's really, really hard to find time to film while I'm here when I'm with the kids. And so this is the only chance I can do it. So sorry for the crappy lighting, but I went to Target today and if you guys didn't know, there is no Target in Canada, unfortunately, and it's one of my favorite places on earth. So whenever I'm back home, I always do one big Target haul. I'm usually here typically once a year at least, sometimes twice, um, but at least once a year, I will splurge and just go bananas and fill up an entire cart at Target and buy whatever I want. And um, today was one of those days. So um, yeah, spent a couple hours there. I do have a pretty significant haul. And since I love watching haul videos myself, I thought I would kind of show you my little haul. But I have broken it up into themes. I have plant stuff, clothes, cosmetics, and Archie stuff. And I think, I think that about sums it up. So we're gonna start with plant stuff since I think most people are here from my plant channel, sorry. I'm like so on edge right now filming because I get so uh, self-conscious when I'm talking to the kid, because it's weird, right? Like you're literally alone talking to a camera. And like when I film at home, Vince is not allowed to watch me. He has to wear his sound canceling headphones and um, just has to be in his own little world. And so I keep thinking that my mom's gonna like walk down the hallway or my dad's gonna come out of the bedroom and I'm gonna get all shy. Anyway, um, so I'm not going to tell you how much I spent until the very end, but I will tell you how much things were as we're going. So if you guys didn't know, Target has an amazing range of these like plastic self-watering -water pots and they are so affordable compared to what is available in Canada. Something like this, like on Amazon Canada would probably like for like one, it would probably like be like $15 each at least for this size and this is a six inch six inch self-watering planter. I already have a few of these, but I grabbed two of them and they were $3 each. Keep in mind, this is obviously US dollars. So I thought that I could probably do like some Ethereum in here or something. Um, it was a good size and of course I grabbed black. So got two of those, $3 each. And then I grabbed another one of these uh, rectangular planters for my crawling plants. This one is 16 inches wide. And this one was, I need to go find my receipt. This guy was $8. And um, I think it's a great size because it's good for like your starter crawlers that are not quite big enough to put in something bigger, but you need to get it to go, to start going and start crawling. This is like the perfect size, fits really perfectly on like pretty much any of my plant shelves that I have. And so I just grabbed another one of those. I don't have too many crawlers left in my collection that could fit in one that size, which is why I only grabbed one. The next one I got was the big, mama size and it's so funny my friend par she left a comment on one of my um uh videos where i was planting something in this she was like you could literally like lay me to rest in one of those things or something because it's so big but literally look how big it is so this is a 24 inch rectangular self-watering planter i currently have my Gloriosum. I think it's my Gloriosum white veins that's in here or my SP Columbia. I have one of my big crawlers currently and one of these big guys and I love them. Um, and this one was $20. So yeah, obviously the most expensive, but seriously, something like this in Canada would probably cost like $60 and I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating. So whenever I am here or whenever my mom is going to come visit, I always stock up on these and have her bring me at least one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got these, all of these for 
28 like for $35, did I do the math right? Oh, and I have one more. So I also grabbed one of the circle planters in this color, which is kind of this like mossy green. Um, and I just thought it would be a good break from all the black that I'm getting. And this one is a 12 inch diameter pot, also self watering. This one was also $8. So seriously, not a bad price at all for one this size. I am just waiting for the day that Target picks up on the needs of the plant community and makes planters like this that are um, opaque, like semi-opaque or like just clear, like so that you could see right through it. That would be my absolute dream come true. Like imagine those size planters, those style planters, but you could see through it. I would be ruined. And then the last pot that I got is this one. So I don't usually splurt. No, I'm not even, not even going to say splurt. I don't usually buy pots like this um, just because they tend to be very expensive. But I wanted to like bring a little bit more interest on my living room plant shelf because I either have all clear planters or I have planters like those. Um, from Target and I don't have a lot of like really cool cute interesting fun planters that's something that I want to change this year I want to be a little bit more creative with the things that I'm putting my plants in so I thought this would be a good start for some of my bigger anthurium this one is a I don't know what diameter this is I want to say it's like maybe 10 8 or maybe 8 Eight or ten inches and it's nice because it has a drainage hole but I'm probably going to put I'm just gonna use this as a cover pot probably and I think this one was 20 yeah this one is $20 so um, a little bit more than I'd want to spend just like on a normal pot but I just thought it was really cute and um, I felt like I would regret it if I didn't get it and you can see it kind of has like speckles of black it's not just like pure white. It's really, really cute. It kind of looks like vanilla bean ice cream. So I'm very happy with this one. Okay, these, I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, <laughs> but I found these in the, you know, like the $1, usually a dollar section, but it's like one to $5 usually at the very front where they have all the little like trinkets and stuff. So um, this is a plastic birdhouse. And I obviously will not be using it for a bird, but I was thinking I can use it on the wall to hang a plant and do like a trailing plant. Um, maybe some kind of Ripsalis or some kind of Hoya or something. I have been wanting like a string of pearls. I'm gonna do some plant shopping here, um, maybe this weekend. See if I can find any cool trailing guys to bring home. Um, but I thought this would be kind of cool. So I picked up two of them and I'm thinking maybe like staggering them on a wall or something. My only concern is that it may leak because I might have to seal it up because this actually like comes out. And so I think with watering it, it might leak out. So if it doesn't work as a planter, I'm just going to use it in Archie's bedroom because my mom found a box of our old TY babies. So while I'm here, I'm going to go through them and um, just pick out the ones that I want for Archie's room. And then I might just do like sort of like a TY baby thing in here. I'm kind of hoping that in that box, there's a lot of like animal ty babies like like safari animals safari animals jungle animals and you'll find out in a little bit but i was thinking it would be kind of cute like on his wall with his books and stuff like i could do like a bunch of ty babies inside of here hanging on the wall um so either way i'll be able to use it i'm hoping i can use it for plants but if not at least i have a backup plan oh and these were five dollars each a little bit expensive but again we don't have target in um, Canada so I'm splurging I splurged since we were just talking about Archie's bedroom I want to kind of give you an idea of what I had in mind for Archie's room so I knew going into it that I didn't want to do the super aesthetic thing 
the Pinterest thing. I didn't even want it to necessarily match with the theme of my house and like the rest of my decorations. And I wanna keep it plant free. I just want that to be a space where like, it's not shrouded, is that the right word? Where like my hobby and like my style, my taste, my interest doesn't affect him. It's just like his little place of fun and to be a kid and to just have his own little, his own little area, right? And so I knew I wanted like a theme that was colorful, that was very kid-like, something bright and cheery. Like I didn't want to walk in and feel like it was just an extension of our house. I wanted it to feel very different. So that was like my, I don't have like a Pinterest board or anything. I just have been kind of winging it, but I've been, I've been gravitating toward like animal theme. So I think I'm gonna use this as my starting point. I haven't bought anything really for his bedroom yet in terms of decorations because I'm like, I feel like the first thing I buy is gonna be what determines the rest of the room. And I feel like this is it. Sorry, I'm out of breath because there's a child inside of me. So, Target had these on sale. So this is the first um, bed set that I got him. So what we're getting when we get back home is a stackable twin bed. And the idea behind that is we can stack them when my parents are, or we can stack them when my parents aren't here visiting and they can act as his bed. Um, and it's not very high off the ground, it's like, like they literally just stack right on. Let me just, this is the bed that I want, right? So they stack, doesn't go that high. I am planning to maybe get like some kind of like nugget couch thing once he's big enough to sleep in his bed. So if he does roll off or something, like it's not just like straight to the floor, but then it'll be nice because when my parents come over, I can unstack them and it come, it like turns into basically a full size bed. Um, another option is if, the bed really is too high as a twin bed we can just keep them side by side and he can just sleep on the full bed but i'm hoping that it can stay stacked because i only bought twin sheets so if we needed to put them side by side the sheets wouldn't be matching not the end of the world but anyway this was the first one that I picked, which is like this cute little cheetah print. And I just love the color. I love the artwork. I just thought it was so cute. And I'm kicking myself because on TikTok, I saw someone had bought this lamp on like at Target. And I went to check the website and I found this. And this is what I was going to initially base his room off of was this one lamp. But then I was like, what if I get to California and there's another one that I like better because there were a few styles. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait. And now they're sold out everywhere and I cannot find it for the life of me. And it sucks because it literally matches these sheets perfectly. So I am currently on the hunt for this. But yeah, this is the first sheet set that I got. And then I will interchange it between that one and this one. They had so many cute sheet sets. I was torn between the one that had sort of like jungle leaf, jungle leaves and mushrooms. Um, there was one that had like solar system, like the solar system planets, like they were just so adorable. But I felt like this one was a little bit more on theme with like the animals and stuff. So this is the second sheet set that I got meaning like if he wets the bed or something and I'm doing like bed changes that he'll always have like a second um, pair. Uh, so this one is cotton, the other one is microfiber and I wanna put it all in the frame so you can see my vision. So like when you see them together, I feel like they're really cute. They have kind of the same colors on them like with the yellow, the yellow, uh, what is this, cheetah? Is this a cheetah or a leopard? cheetah <laughs> cheetah and then you have like the yellow from like this butterfly and stuff like that but i also got oh my god i can't stretch my belly um i also got a quilt to go on top of the bed in this color and it's so interesting my my camera is like washing it out completely that is not the color of it this it looks so like muted. It's like this bright green in person. 
Okay. Why is it doing that? Um, if I if it's not showing correctly, um, I'm gonna plug it in here. Now it's all red. The white balance is going crazy. I'm gonna plug it in here. This is the actual color of the um, of the quilt, and I got a matching sham for it. So I think his bedroom is gonna be a lot of like yellows, greens, and maybe like blues or something. That might be where we go in terms of the direction with his bedroom. Um, but I'm happy with it. So the sheet sets were actually on sale. I'm like all red now. The white balance is all off. I just messed it up. <sighs> okay, let's see how much it was. So this one was $20. Uh, this one was on sale for 15. And this one, the quilt was $24.50. And then the sham was $7 that I just dropped on the floor. Not bad. I'm glad that I was able to get some of these on sale, but I'm kicking myself over that lamp I should have bought. My sister was like, you need to order on order online and just have it sent to like their, my mom's house or something. Um, and she's like, if you don't like it, like if you change your mind, you can just return it when you're here. And I didn't freaking listen to her and now I regret it. <sighs> And this is not for Archie's room, but um, I have been wanting to get new towels for my bathroom. Not necessarily new bathroom, not necessarily completely new ones in terms of like replacing the ones that I have because I actually like the ones that I have. But I want to switch them back and forth every week. Like when it's dirty, then I can transfer the new ones. So the ones I have at home right now are like this really sort of earthy brown color and I really like them and the theme in my bathroom is very earthy um, with like the frames that I have in there and the decorations that I have in there so I thought that this would be a good mix I guess in terms of the color and I really really like this color and again my camera is it's like washing everything out it's like a richer like emerald green and it's beautiful so it just comes with like two towels and um, two hand towels and this one was $10 for this bundle. So that's not bad at all because that's even cheaper than if I got something like this at my local Walmart. So happy about that. Now we're going to be moving on to the like clothes and stuff that I got. So the first one, um, I don't know if you guys have been seeing ads like crazy for Bagu. I cannot currently splurge on a Bagu bag right now, but I thought this was a great dupe. Um, the, it's like fabric material. It's very, very soft. It has, so it's Wild Fable brand, which I really love. Wild Fable is one of my favorite Target brands. It's got a little pocket on the inside. It has a pocket, pocket on the outside, and then it's an adjustable strap so that you can wear it like over the shoulder like this, which I probably will be doing because I find it to be more comfortable to wear it like this. <laughs> wear it like this versus like on the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, the it's draining the water now. But I like that I have the option of wearing it both ways, both on the shoulder or around the around the chest and this one was $18 which is so much better than splurging on a Bagu bag um, but Bagu bags are very very cute okay the next thing I got is the dress that I'm wearing to my baby shower this was not in the plan I just I didn't really love the dress that I had planned to wear for my baby shower because it is I bought it when I was like 20 21 weeks pregnant and I've gotten so much bigger since then and I didn't really account for how much bigger I was gonna get and so it's a little bit tight and so um, I picked up this I know it looks really like formal and stuff in terms of the style but it actually when I'm wearing it it doesn't look very formal and it's got like a slit here it's actually a maternity dress so it has space for the little bump and I'm hoping I can still wear this when I'm not pregnant but obviously by the time I edit this my baby shower will have already happened so hopefully I have a picture to show you of me in it hopefully I didn't look like 
a giant Easter egg. <laughs> I'm just like, I feel huge right now, but I love it. And it was only, um, it said that it was $26. I didn't know it was on sale. It rang up at 20. So I've got six bucks off and I just really, really like that color. I don't, I don't think I've ever worn that color before, but for some reason I was just so drawn to it and I thought it was really cute. And so, um, I also got this wild fable cardigan, this knit cardigan to wear over it it's like cropped and then the sleeves are like oversized and like kind of like baggy so I'll wear this over the dress if I am feeling self-conscious or if I'm feeling cold or something I don't know I was gonna wear this originally I picked this dress out first before I found the yellow one and it's just kind of this like slip dress and it's a really thick fabric and it has like lines in it and it also has a slit at the bottom but I like that one better and I like that I can I'll probably look better in this when I'm not pregnant but I got it in this like beige color and this one was 20 bucks and I also got it in black so I'm buying things I had I bought things for like post-pregnancy because I only have three months left being pregnant so really most of these things are for when I'm not pregnant this was gonna be the backup dress for that one if the beige looked horrible on me but again I like that I can wear it still when I'm not pregnant um, I also got these jammies so I have been eyeing these jammies since last year they're the stars above brand and you guys you have never felt a fabric this soft before it is like made of angels tears they are so soft so flowy it's like you're wearing nothing and it has pockets has a drawstring it's really tight on me right now uh, but I'm just banking that you know post pregnancy I'll be able to fit it more comfortably but it's not even that expensive. It's only, it's 20 bucks, but I don't know, for some reason, like, I just didn't want to splurge on it last year. I mean, splur I say splurge because I buy most of my things thrifted. So like, to me, buying PJs for like $4 is expensive. So I like to think about spending $20 on PJs. I'm like, uh, but like for this fabric, I will make an exception. My only gripe is that they didn't make a matching like tank top or something to go with it. Like this would be so cute. As a, as a matching set and the only thing they had matching with it was this like long sleeve with like this pocket and it just wasn't just wasn't a vibe I wasn't feeling it so I just got the bottoms whatever and I think this is like my first mom shirt <laughs> I don't know I tried it on and I was like I look like such a mom like I was wearing this and then I just like imagine it with like some like boyfriend jeans or something and it's like this linen um, short sleeve shirt it's got like the rolled up cuffs it has like these cute little I forgot what the word is to describe the the style of button it's got like a little pocket here and I don't know I just imagined my safe myself chasing after a small child um, <laughs> with this so uh, I'm hoping it softens up a little bit after the wash because it's a little stiff right now but I have hope um, and then I just got this random tank top. I just really like Wild Fable stuff. So this is like a beater and it has like the deep armholes and the bottom is like rounded post-pregnancy. Hopefully my body goes back to what it used to be and I can go back to wearing stuff like this. They had it in a few other colors, but they didn't have it in the size that I needed, which was unfortunate, but at least I got white that's pretty standard and then the last apparel thing i got is probably like my favorite thing that i got and i'm sad that they didn't have it in white in my size so it's this matching two-piece set it's these shorts with the matching long sleeve top so the brand is universal thread i have a few things from this brand that I really love all linen things and so yeah I just thought this was like a fun little little two-piece set 
really like lightweight casual um, so the, these bottoms were I keep forgetting to tell you guys the price so these were 20 and this was 25 I don't think any of these were on sale this one was five dollars this top I think was 20 $20 for this linen top. I showed you the $20 bottoms. Did I tell you the price of these? 20 bucks for each of those dresses. The one in beige as well. I think this cardigan was the most expensive thing I bought. I think this was like 35. Oh, it was 26. But I really liked it and I just I wish they had it in other colors cuz I definitely would have got it in like a beige if they had it. I think I have one more thing to show you in terms of apparel. The last thing I got, and I really don't need this anymore, but the last thing I got, I know some people hate these shoes, but I have been living in mine. I bought a pair of these from Target last year and I've just been living in them. This style is a little bit different, but I just got another pair. They're a slightly different color than the ones that I have. The ones that I currently have are like more brown, whereas this one is like more like, grayish grayish brown these were $29.99 and they were very comfy and I like that it has like the adjustable strap on this one but yeah I'm glad to have replaced not replaced but gotten a second pair of them because the one that I have like I have put in miles on them for sure um the last four things are just small cosmetic stuff first one is I've been wanting to try this camel liquid blush from elf I do watch a few like beauty influencers and this one got pretty good reviews. They have said that it's very, very pigmented and it says high pigment. The only thing I was surprised about that like I don't remember like hearing in the reviews are that it has glitter in it. So I do use like a glittery highlighter. So I'm thinking maybe I don't typically like to use a blush that has glitter but maybe like this could kind of act as like a two-in-one and i got it in the color berry well i just felt like this was probably the best color for my skin right now i'm using an elf blush that's a little bit too pink i mean my skin has gotten a lot lighter but i think that something a little bit more this color might suit me a little bit better so I got that. I could have gotten this in Canada, but I actually am down to like my last squeeze. So I just replaced the Power Grip Primer. This is like probably my favorite primer I've ever used and it's so cheap. I think it's like, so that blush was, sorry, I keep forgetting to tell you price. I'm so bad at this. Oh, it just says e.l.f. So I don't know what's what. I think it was like $7 for this, for that blush. And I think it was like six or $7 well, the skews don't match, so I don't know. I don't know how much these were. They were like less than 10. I want to say this one was like seven, seven dollars or something. I think this one was ten, ten dollars. Um, I also am gonna try this, the e.l.f. brow lift. Right now I'm using the NYX tinted brow gel, and I I like how it makes my brows look like that's all I'm wearing right now. I haven't like filled them in or anything. I literally just used the tinted um uh, tinted thingamabob but I find that it doesn't like hold up my Asian brows very well if you guys didn't know a lot of Asian people um, have brows that grow downward so we need something really really strong to like lift them up and so I'm hoping that this elf brow lift kind of does the trick so my thought is I'll use this first and then go in with the the stuff that I already use but I don't know if it's gonna work Anyway, the last thing I got was nail polish. I'm really not painting my nails right now, but I thought that this would be like a good color because it's like very close to just like my skin tone-ish. Um, and I've never seen this color in Canada before, so I just picked it up and I'm probably gonna put it on before my baby shower because I felt like this was like a cute little combo. By the way, I didn't even address the... Um, the manicure situation uh millie did my millie did my nails and um you're supposed to do like five layers with this like glitter nail polish that i brought her but she only wanted to do one layer so um it was very sparse but it was cute so anyway that was it for my haul i spent so i went to target twice we went in the morning 
we realized because we did self checkout that two of our clothes things had the sensor tags on them so we had to go back to target and so i did a second run because it like simmered that i needed a few other things so where did i put my other receipt keep in mind that this is us dollars so in canadian it's going to be like five million dollars more because the exchange rate is so terrible right now but i spent in my first one 385.49 plus when I went back, I spent another $52.74, bringing me to a grand total of $438.23 USD, which converts to this much Canadian, which is very painful. But again, it's not like I'm going to Target all the time. Maybe it's probably a good thing that there's no Target in Canada, because I feel like I'd be there all the time. Um, but you know, I'm happy with everything I got. A lot of these things were like essential for me in terms of things I needed for my plants. You know, Archie, he needs his sheets. And um, I only plan on having one kid, I think. And so we're just kind of going all out for, um, for this baby because we're not really like budgeting for having a second in the future. So I just, you know, if I'm only gonna be able to decorate a kid's room once, I just want it to be I want it to be good. So, feeling good. I do still have a little bit left in my budget for this trip to buy some plants. I think I might be good on like, the, like I don't really feel like I need to go buy any more clothes or things like that. I do kind of want to stop by the container store. If you guys don't know what the container store is, it is like heaven on earth. It's basically like an entire store, two stories of just things to organize your things. It is magical and I'm kind of scared to go in there because I feel like I could go a little crazy. And keep in mind, we're driving all of this back. So <laughs> I have a feeling and I'm just knocking on wood, but I have a feeling we're gonna get pulled into secondary when we cross the border this time because they're probably gonna wanna see everything we're bringing over because you have to pay duties when you spend over a certain amount um, outside of the country. But I will deal with that when you cross. But anyways guys, it's getting late. I wanna take a shower. I have snot, slobber, food, I don't know, whatever else. Taco Bell probably in my hair. So I wanna go take a shower. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another video. Thank you for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.